This is the Marvel Legends series, Avengers Endgame, Marvel's Rescue, or Pepper Potts as Rescue. And this figure is part of the new Professor Hulk Build-A-Figure Wave. And here's the rest of the assortment. And out of all these figures, this Pepper Potts Rescue figure is probably the figure I was most interested in. And I'm so happy I was able to pick it up. I picked up this figure at... Hobby corner. And here is Pepper Potts as Rescue from Avengers Endgame. And the figure actually looks really nice. You just keep her in packaging or posed. Just all the overall aesthetics, I think, of the figure, sculpt wise, paint wise, I think is a pretty good rendition of this latest armor from Pepper Potts in the cinematic universes uh adaptation of the superhero rescue in the comic books if you remember she was done in red and silver uh i think i think the uh, purplish blue and muted gold i think it's a it's a good choice i i wasn't too sure about it uh the first time i heard about it but seeing it on screen i thought it was better um uh, to give it to give her some contrast uh, from the red and gold Iron Man suit. So looking absolutely fantastic. Really, really liking this figure. <clears throat> okay. Now, obviously, she does not come with a stand. This is a Revel Tech stand from the amazing Yamaguchi Psylocke. I'm going to put that away for now. And you know what? For all the beauty and really awesomeness of this figure aesthetic wise uh this point the disappointment comes really when you start to play around with this figure i mean don't get me wrong i still love this figure uh but articulation wise and some of the accessories um i felt uh could have been improved so uh, let me show you what i mean so let's start with the paint apps paint apps looks great uh i think uh, there's hardly any issues I, it's just that there are some parts that have been misaligned. The paint apps have, you know, where it should be a little bit lower or higher. There's just a few bits and pieces, uh, bits and pieces here that have that very, very minor uh, quality issue. But overall, I thought the paint apps turned out great. They molded the plastic in this metallic purplish blue. Uh, they painted it silver and muted gold or greenish gold. If that's what it's coming to, okay? <clears throat> so I thought that was okay. Um, she does come with a backpack that has all these flaps, uh, which I don't know how accurate this is in the movie, because I, you know, I saw only I, I watched the movie twice, and I I, I thought it was much bigger. <clears throat> Her the backpack that he had like much bigger, but it do, it does sort of re represent what what happened in the movie. I like it. I like that they painted it silver at the back. So everything's nice. It, this one closes, this one does not close at all, which is a shame. I wish they could have made a backpack that closes, but instead they made it removable and you could replace it with a closed backpack that says rescue as well, which is really two backpacks. Maybe you could have just used one and then you could have saved money instead of having this. You could just put an extra hinge right here. I think there's enough plastic to keep create a hinge right here that will fold that way and then they could have possibly given her an extra head a head that has the exposed face of pepper pods but instead we just get this close head and okay I'm, I'm pretty sure down the line Hasbro will re-release this particular figure and give it that extra head sculpt just like what they're doing with some of the figures right now they're re-releasing better versions of the figure now Articulation wise, now that's my biggest gripe about the figure. It's, ex well, it's, it's not that bad, but it's it's just quite difficult to pose the, the uh, figure uh, because of the bits of armor sticking out here and there. I'm not blaming it for not being, uh, for not getting that amount of dynamic articulation that I wanted, uh, simply because the sculpt is what it is. So let's get let me show you what I'm what I'm talking about. The head sculpt is the head articulation is actually pretty good. It's got a ball joint neck. It's on a hinge, so she can go look down, look up, left and right. So that's pretty good. Neck is a little bit long though. Uh, I'm not sure why they chose it that way. Okay, uh, 
torso has that <clears throat> ball jointed rotation. That's pretty cool. Uh, ball hinge shoulders, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. That actually blew me away. And then this one, ball hinge wrist that just, you can't really pose. Uh, I can't get the get her in a good clenching <laughs> pose. That's because instead of a ball hinge wrist, because she has this kibble, they should have probably given her a forearm cut with a hinge joint. That's probably the best thing they could have done with this figure. Because look, look at this. Hello, uh, Tony, are you coming in? Are you coming for dinner, Tony? It, it looks <laughs> like that instead of the, I, it, I'm nitpicking, okay? This is quite possibly not a deal breaker at all. Uh, and, and for me personally, I just feel they could have improved that because they just gave her backpacks and the head sculpt I know would probably cost a lot of money had they given her so they could have with that <clears throat> with not having a head sculpt they could have added more cuts and swivels right there okay uh, hips they go this way and that way and because it's severely hindered by this particular uh, piece of the armor i don't know how they could have fixed this uh because as it is if if had they made that cut bigger it, it would ruin the whole silhouette of of the sculpt so not entirely sure how that's going to happen but yeah it's fine uh, he's got, she's got a uh, thigh swivel and a very loose, this, this is worrying me a little bit, it's a very loose knee joint. Um, don't know why, I, if it's a quality issue or they measured too little or too much, I don't know. But it does ratchet a little bit so you can get her in that nice little pose, but uh, it, it's a little bit loose on mine. I don't know why, just for the right leg. For the left leg, it's kind of loose, but not as loose as the right leg. That kind of freaked me out a little bit. <clears throat> not not so much, but, you know, I, I would have expected because it's a first mold, it would be very tight, much like the war machine, okay? So foot can go up and down and has that uh, ankle pivot, okay? So, yeah, it's great. It's just that there's very little poses I can do uh, with this figure. Um, I wanted, I actually wanted to give her... Uh, that superhero landing stance. Yeah, I'm gonna try and do it, okay? I'm gonna try and put her in that superhero stand. And as far as posing her in that uh, iconic Iron Man superhero landing, that Deadpool calls it, uh, this is the best I, I, I could do. Uh, the How the armor was molded on her, it really hinders a lot of the articulation. It would have been nice if we could have had a little bit more room to move the legs and arms but this is this is it this is the best i could do not too bad but uh could have been better and for size comparisons here she is with the first 10 years uh iron man mark 7 the first 10 years of marvel studios marvel legends uh, it's okay scale wise it's pretty good and here she is with the first 10 years three pack uh pepper pots if you look at how they stand it kind of is a good scale let me remove the backpack because the rescue armor should be a little bit taller simply because it's covering up the the body of pepper pots but it's not much taller it's probably a sixteenth of an inch taller <clears throat> if i'm not mistaken head to toe the figure is about six and a quarter inches tall i was very surprised i thought it was a pretty small figure but it exceeds six inches so not a bad height for a 112 scale figure now, the question I had in mind as well, as I'm sure all of you have, is if, can you put the Pepper Potts head sculpt on this particular figure and it wouldn't look weird? There you go. Ah, uh, looks good to me. <laughs> Boy, that neck is quite long. I, wow, it makes her look like she's got giraffe, a giraffe neck. Look at that. I mean, from the back, I guess it's okay, but wow. And conversely, 
This one is actually a good fit. I don't know why. Um, it's like Pepper put on the armor. Oh my gosh, Tony's in trouble. The Avengers, we need to rally them. Cap, Doctor Strange, can you hear me? Um, it's, it's actually a pretty good fit. Um, hmm, interesting. So, final thoughts on the figure. Well, I think it's good enough. Uh, it's not perfect. Uh, a little bit underwhelming when you start playing with it, but aesthetically, I think Hasbro nailed it with this figure. I wish they could have given it an extra head sculpt, better forearm, arm, and leg uh, articulation, uh, despite being constrained by the sculpt of the armor. I think the figure deserves a 9.5 out of 10. Would have been perfect with that new Pepper Pods head sculpt, but uh, I'm pretty sure down the line we'll get to see this figure re-released and repacked with better accessories. So, she is packed one per case. Best of luck to everybody hunting her down. Um, hope you've enjoyed this little video review. If you did, please let me know in the comment section below what you think of this figure. Click the notification bell to get updated uh, when I post a new video. And uh, till next time, this has been the Marvel Legends series from the Avengers Endgame and the Professor Hulk Build-A-Figure Wave Marvel's Rescue. Thanks for watching.